Instead of copper or rubber fuel lines, consider using this kink resistant fire retardant hose. It's actually pretty easy to make up ends like these right on the boat using just a few simple tools and these three piece reusable fittings. This half inch diameter hose has a rubber inner core and a layer of steel braid for strength covered with an outer protective jacket. This metal cutoff wheel in my cordless grinder does a good job of cutting the hose and I made this simple jig just by boring a hole through a couple of scraps of 2x4 to clamp the hose in the vise and guide my cut. Now I'm using this Rockwell Jaw Horse, which is essentially a foot operated vise built into a stout three-legged sawhorse. With the hose cut to length, clean it with compressed air and mineral spirits, and then we're ready to screw this left-hand thread outer piece onto the hose. Now we can use the wrench to hold this end, but it's a lot easier just to clamp it in a vise. And then we want to put the flare nut on the fitting and thread the mandrel in. And then tighten these two together with a pair of wrenches. Now we put hose oil on the fitting and then work it down into the hose. That's the reason for that mandrel. Let's crank it down with a wrench. With the rubber jaw on this vise, I need to use a wrench here to hold it as it gets tight. Now tighten that down until those threads disappear. But make sure you leave a little bit of a gap there so that female flare nut will swivel. So that's all there is to it. Let's just remove this from the vise and take that mandrel out. And then either cap or tape that end to keep debris out of your fuel system.